As a cybersecurity engineer, often it's very challenging to look at the logs from different FortiGate firewalls in a distributed deployment. Say, for instance, there is a cluster of firewalls installed in Lisbon and another cluster of firewalls installed in Porto or even outside of Portugal uh, in Belgium or Luxembourg. It is very hard for us and probably for you whenever you need to look at the logs uh, detecting a threat or because uh, you receive the complaint that certain traffic is not working. And if you have to log into each firewall, it's going to take some time. An easy option would be to just receive the logs from these different firewalls into a single place, into a single box. Well, actually, there is this option, and this is called Forti Analyzer. So Forti Analyzer is this gigantic box that's responsible for receiving the logs from these different firewalls, different FortiGate firewalls uh, across different sites. And by looking at those logs just on a single place and a single pane of glass, it makes our life way easier. And that's what I'm going to show in this video. We're going to see how to integrate Fort Analyzer with FortiGate. Okay, we're going to use a very basic deployment. All I have is a FortiGate firewall. So this is my Forti gate with two interfaces. And on this interface, I have the subnet 192.168.43.0.24. And this is port 1. And on this side, this is port 2. And I have the subnet 192.168.44. 4.0/24 okay and on this side i have a 40 analyzer okay and i have also a linux pc I'll just call it linux right so we have a linux pc on this side and here all i have is a linux pc as well so this is going to have probably the AP.8 and here the firewall, the AP, the IP.41, here also 41. Uh, Forti Analyzer has the IP address of 40 and Linux PC probably has the IP address 7, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we're going to generate some traffic from this Linux PC to this Linux 8 and it's going to pass through the firewall. So it's going to be a very basic configuration. Now, and this is all running directly on VMware Workstation that you can get for free. And also, uh, if you want to download the FortiGate and Forti Analyze and request the free evaluation license directly from Fortinet, you can watch uh, this video that I recorded some time ago and it's going to walk you through the steps to download and install uh, Forti Analyzer, Forti Manager, and also uh, Forti Gate. okay? So this is the topology, the deployment we're going to use. And just to show you uh, what do I have in terms of uh, configuration so far. Okay, so let's look at the interfaces. Okay, so I have port 1 with the IP address 192.168.43.41. And I have port 2 with the IP address 192.168.44.41 as well. And in terms of policies, uh, this is uh, very basic. No, I don't want. But this is going to be a very basic one, just allowing everything to from any source to any destination. Uh, actually, let me open this. It's going to be easier. So you can see I'm allowing traffic coming from port 1 to port 2, any source to any destination any traffic at all and I disable net okay and I enabled log to log all sessions and also generate logs when session starts and I enable the policy okay so that's it and so one thing that you want to make sure that it's enabled on your interface is um security fabric connection okay in my case, this is enabled on port one, and this is the same interface where Forti Analyzer is connected. Okay, I'm just going to cancel this. And now let's send some traffic from one of the clients. So that's going to be like ping to 44.8. And if we go to uh, log and report 
forward traffic should be able to capture this traffic right now so you can see we have traffic coming from this client 43.42 are uh, going to 44.8 and that's pink and we want to see this same log on 40 analyzer okay so how do we do that so let me cancel this for now and so we go to security fabric fabric connectors and here on logging and analytics we click on this we're going to edit and here we want to enable the status 40 analyzer and here i'm going to type 40 analyzer ip address in my case it's 43.40 and i want these to upload just in real time so that we can see the logs asap and i'm going to save this now it's going to uh throw this message saying look uh, this is 40 analyzer id and you want to accept or deny this now in case this message doesn't pop up on the first time you might have to add these settings okay so just copy this and paste into 40 analyzer okay this is not on 40 gate this is on 40 analyzer just type this command and it's going to after some time uh it's going to show this message so in this case i'm going to accept okay things sent uh saved and so it's going to let it run for a while it's exchanging and authenticating each other uh unauthorized so let me just edit 40 gate is unauthorized or denied on 40 analyzer would you like yes okay I'm just going to confirm this and this is 40 analyzer so i have to approve okay I'm just going to confirm this okay and that should be okay so you can see already sending a couple of logs there and i'm just going to save this okay so the 40 analyzer status says that it's connected so now let's go to 40 analyzer and so if we go to device manager we should see uh 40 gate here and if we go to an authorized device let's extend this you can see this is 40 gate okay so i'm going to authorize this again okay just authorize and this is the same name okay just confirm that and it was successfully authorized so i can close this so now i should see that the device was added and the status is going to show as up which means that i should be able to start seeing the logs that are being sent to 40 gate to be also uh, redirected here to 40 analyzer and we can validate that if we go to 40 view 40 gate okay and i'm just going to send uh some random packets here so i'm going to cause an attack just going to flood a lot of packets here and so let's see the last one 542 i'm just going to refresh this so not yet let's send a couple more should see from uh 42 it looks like it's going to show now yeah we can see a lot of bogus packets here being sent from this client to another and we can apply this imagine in the scenario with multiple firewalls all of them just sending their traffic directly to fort analyzer which make our life way easier as a cybersecurity engineers or admin so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one